to Stockholm, three minutes. So I need to catch a train to go to the city centre because currently I'm just at the airport. We have to go down under the ground for this. So I bought this ticket, which is a youth ticket because I'm under 26 for the Arlanda Express. And with this, I can get on this train which goes into the city centre. Whoa. No way, what timing. So for the next 24 hours, I was going to be walking around Stockholm with this GoPro camera attached to my chest to capture everything I get up to. Now Stockholm is the capital of Sweden and it was established as a city in 1252 and it's located on the southeastern side of the country. It's been built across 14 different islands which should make it an interesting city to explore. Less than 1 million people live in the city which means nearly 10 times less people live here than cities like London or New York. And apparently it's one of the happiest cities too so I was hopeful for an enjoyable 24 hours here. I don't trust myself with one of those, definitely not. Right, I've got to try and find my way to my hotel. And I'm also hungry. realized the Stockholm Metro is super simple and easy to use. All you need is a contactless card to scan at the gates. You get a 38 Swedish Krona ticket and you can travel anywhere with the same ticket for the next 75 minutes. Ended up going the wrong direction. That wasn't so good. Oh dear. Hello. Hello, hello. How do I get uh, going the other direction on the metro rather than south? So I want to go north. Number 19 to Silvestre. Number 19. Yes. Over I'm there. looking the way. Okay. Yes. Thank Ah, yes. There we go. I quite like arriving places in the night because it's a little bit quieter and calmer. Uh, yes, thank you. Right, now we can go to the hotel room. Or the... I don't even know what I've booked. I've got a master bedroom with my own shower for tonight. Very traditional Swedish food. Kebab. It was either that or McDonald's. Wow, these lights go green so quick. Up here, then right. How are you supposed to eat these cleanly? 
I'm in the middle of Stockholm and my fingers are covered in kebab juice. I guess this is where I'm sleeping tonight. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I'm Alex and today I'm in Stockholm. It was actually not too expensive. I think it was 500 kroner for the one night, which equates to about 40 British pounds, so um, pretty cheap for a central city spot. And I mean, this place comes with everything you need, such as a giant cuddly toy kangaroo and a giraffe. It's also got a nice bed and a bathroom, which was uh, very nice. I showered this morning. I made a list on my phone of a few things that I want to do while I'm here to give me some sort of direction. And my list consists of I think I must have written this when I was quite tired, it doesn't make much sense, it just says meatballs, ABBA museum, sauna, Ikea, and it says right at the bottom, I need to go to a Swedish crayfish party. But first, it's 8.39 in the morning, and I need to get something to eat, and I'm going to do something called fika. I'm not sure if you can use it as a verb. I'm going to eat fika, or am I going to do fika? Or am I going to play fika? Basically, fika roughly translates from Swedish as drinking coffee, munching sweet treats, and chatting. It's very traditional here, I've heard. I might not be able to do the chatting part because I'm here on my own, but I would love to sit down, drink a coffee this morning, and eat a cinnamon roll. Let's get on with it. Right then, quest for a cinnamon roll. Oh, here we go. Cinnamon roll and coffee. Mmm. Damn, that's good. I want to visit the old town, like the original Stockholm town, which I think is called Gamla Stan. It's actually where I ended up yesterday by accident on the train. But we're going to go there on purpose today and have a little walk around. Thank you. I think I just keep walking down this road until I get there. This kind of feels like central city area. It's way less hectic than London though, that's for sure. In fact, it's actually very calm. I wonder where these steps go. This is how we get over the bridge. No way. It's an Ikea. Those things are neat.
Shall I buy a bed? Look at that. Beautiful building. And the wooden spoon. Life couldn't be better. I was tempted to buy that bed, but it would have been a struggle bringing that around the city. It's made in China. Wait, that is right here. That's like on this bridge. I mean, this has got to be one of the most beautiful cities. Definitely the best looking city I've ever been to. Like you're surrounded by water, colorful buildings, and some pretty huge, impressive buildings too. And loads of plants as well. You can't beat a city with good, good old plants. I always find myself walking down these quiet, narrow streets. I kind of prefer it to the busy areas. Palace. I didn't even realize Sweden had a monarchy, but apparently they do. I'm tired, miserable, and I need some food to hype me back up again. I found this place called Meatballs for the People. Sounds pretty tasty. So we're gonna go there right now. Meatballs are as quintessentially Swedish as it gets. Nice. We're on a meatball mission. 30 minute walk. I'm on an island in a city surrounded by water. And that is a boat. A very big boat. Meatballs for the people is like that way, I think. So we're gonna go round over the bridge along there and into that area. Sod the mound. In most cities, the air smells of pollution and not particularly nice. But here, the smells of cinnamon. So now I'm on the island of Sordemalm. I was over on the other side of the water over there. 10 minute walk till I get some meatballs in my belly. Oh damn, look at that. That's an impressive building. Oh. 
That's the drink menu. Cheers. Can I have the creamy type of the telly? Can I have mousse? Oh, uh, we don't have mousse actually. Uh, what about wild pork? Wild pork? Okay. Does everyone here speak like perfect English? Uh, not everyone. It seems like they do. Well, I can't speak any Swedish, so oh, yeah. I'm very grateful that people here can speak English. Riesling and peach. I think Riesling is a type of grape. Cheers. Yum. I've got what I came for. Meatballs. And this is a wild boar meatball, as the little flag suggests. Bear with me while I munch this down. That's how I look walking around the city. I'm a tourist. Moose. Right. Let me know if you like this POV style filming. I know some people find it quite therapeutic and ASMR like. Other people probably find it very boring, but it's quite fun just walking around with a GoPro attached to my chest and just getting on with life. Anyway, meatballs were good. My dad said he would disown me if I went to the ABBA museum. I guess he's not a ABBA fan. So guess what? That's exactly where I'm going now. You gotta admit, when an ABBA song comes on, on the dance floor, you just can't help but sing along. Don't lie. We've all done that. It's a very pedestrian and cycle scooter friendly city. Uh, they have these cycle lanes where the scooters use it as well and then you've got the walkways which are lovely there's no walking or cycling on the roads here which is very nice ah oh, it's raining it's pouring ah oh, there's my boat yep that's right we're catching a boat the public transport here doesn't just cover underground buses and trams you can actually go on a boat but I think I've missed that one. Yep, I've missed it. I'm gonna get underneath this tree to stay dry. <sighs> Need to get this boat. Ooh, sorry. Thank you. So I have to... Yeah, yeah, I'm both here though. Okay, cheers. Yeah, I got the wrong boat. I went just very far away from the Abba Museum. Still, fun boat ride. That's how you get around here. whilst here in Stockholm. That's like my worst nightmare. Like, are they having fun, really? Instead, I'm gonna have a load of fun at the ABBA Museum. Hmm. I can tell this is like a really touristy part of town and I don't really like it. Hey, ho. I'm sorry, but I'm not queuing up for like an hour. 
Daddy will be proud of me. At least I got to see the local area. My next challenge was to find a sauna. I've heard saunering is quite a popular activity amongst the Scandinavians, so I thought I'd join in and give it a go myself. Is there a sauna here? Yeah. Can I use it? Absolutely, yeah. Thank you, tech. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't film this bit because it involved stripping off butt naked and sitting in a hot, steamy room with a load of other people. But I tell you, it was a pretty good experience. I was slightly self-conscious too, however. Uh, having my whole body on show is uh, not something I'm too comfortable with. You could choose to go in the herb-smelling crystal ball room, or you could go in the nice jazz music room, or you could go in a number of other places. I chose a, a room which smelt of herbs. I pushed open the door, walked into the sauna bathing room, and instantly I was met with this incredible heat that gave me quite a shock. I thought, I'm not gonna be able to last in here very long at all. It was almost painful to the skin, but as time went on, I found a nice comfortable spot in the corner of the room, laid down. I had a rather relaxing time. And in fact, after about half an hour, I was sweating so much that it actually was like cooling me down a bit. And I was just like dripping. And it was a rather therapeutic, enjoyable experience. Wow, that was quite incredible. I don't think I've ever felt cleaner in my life. It's like I've sweated out everything and I feel so fresh. I think I'm gonna do saunering more often. It makes you feel Great. <laughs> Look at this. In Stockholm, in the space of 10 minutes, you could go from being on that spinny, scary thing at the other end of town to being somewhere like this, which is just absolutely beautiful. Like, are we really in a capital city? This is incredible. Nice, we got a ticket. Thank you. 
Thank you. I thought I would add up the cost of everything that I spent during my stay, and here's a little list. I spent £57 on accommodation, £44 on food, £34 on travel, £36 on saunering and a wooden spoon. So a total of £171 was spent in 24 hours, and that is rather a lot um, for only a day in the city. But I mean, you could have done it a lot cheaper. I, I did sort of go with the aim to enjoy myself. You know, I, I got some really nice food, ate maybe a few too many cinnamon buns. Um, you could have done it cheaper. £171 meant I had an incredible, luxurious time in the city. Wow, Stockholm is pretty nice. I really need more like 24 months to explore the city properly rather than 24 hours. You know, I, I only managed to do a very small amount of things in the last day. The city is surrounded by water. That in itself makes it a beautiful place to walk around. There's obviously endless amounts of places to eat food. And gosh, that sauna experience was uh, pretty cool. I um, No, it wasn't cool. It was bloody hot. I thoroughly enjoyed it though. Anyway, on to the next adventure. I am driving out of the city and into the countryside. And I'm quite excited for it. Cheers for watching the video. I'll see you next time. How do I drive this car? <laughs> We're doing it. We're driving in Sweden.